Okay, so I'm going to work in the fume hood to do this next step with these chemicals, especially the petroleum ether. I don't want to be breathing any of those vapors. So I have my graduated cylinder here, uh, I have my petroleum ether, and my acetone. So I want to mix a 9 to 1 uh, mixture of petroleum acetone, I'm sorry, petroleum ether with acetone. So I'm going to pour the petroleum ether into the graduated cylinder. To nine millimeters. So I've got nine mils of petroleum ether. And I need to get some of this acetone out of here. So I'm going to use this little beaker to transfer some of the acetone to the beaker. Just need a little bit. I just need one mil. And then I'm going to use my uh, one mil pipette. Let's take out one mil here, approximately. Um, and let's watch the graduated cylinder here. So we're going up to 10 to 1. I'm sorry, 9 to 1. So I have 9 mils of petroleum ether, 1 mil of acetone. And that puts me right at 10 mils. So I've got a 9 to 1 petroleum ether to acetone mixture. Um, my extra acetone, I'm just going to slide off to the side there. And here are my chromatography chambers. So I'm going to um, gonna mix this around in here. And okay, so I just got some power film. And what I can do with the power film is cover the top of this tube. It's a wax paper essentially that's kind of stretchy and now I can mix my 9 to 1 petroleum ether and acetone right there in the graduated cylinder. Okay and now I'm going to pour a couple mils in each chromatography chamber. Whoops that was a little bit too much in that one. And This part doesn't need to be precise. I just need a mill or two or three mills in each one. So there's enough solvent there to do the work of the moving the pigments. Okay, so I've got some solution. My nine to one in each chamber. I'm gonna put the lid on there to try to reduce the evaporation until I bring my chromatography paper over. And that's it.